Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to add three-dimensional buildings to your leaflet web map. We'll also add a layer control where we could add different base maps and the ability to turn on and off these OpenStreetMap buildings. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. So as always, I like to start with a very simple web map and I'll leave a link in the description down below on a video I did on creating a web app such as this. Okay, I will leave a link in the description below as well for the Leaflet Layer OpenStreetMap buildings and here's the address that I'll leave down below. Um, so there's some documentation and we'll come back to that in the video. Um, but one thing we need to copy is this script right here, this code right here. So if I copy that and we can paste it right up above here in the head in the script. So this is just pulling the OpenStreetMap building data from OSM straight into our leaflet web map. Okay, we're gonna create a, a, a check box basically so we could toggle on and off this layer but also I like to include one more base map just so we could toggle between the OSM base map and the aerial imagery. So right now we have the aerial imagery uh, defaulted, which I just showed you guys earlier. So to do that, let's go ahead and say variable aerial equals so this is my aerial imagery with the attribution. And what I'm going to do is actually just copy this. It would just be a little easier. And go back here. And we'll call this OSM. Okay. And we're going to need to, of course, change this, uh, the links right here. So if we go over to here, I'll leave, again, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Uh, basically what I did, I searched for leaflet base map providers, and it should come up with this website as one of the top results. That's the GitHub page. Um, if I click onto it, you can see here on the right hand side, there's all these different base maps you could add to leaflet quite easily. The aerial imagery that I'm using, um, it's right here, ESRI world imagery. And as you notice, when you click onto that, the, you could have a preview of the base map. You could scroll around and zoom into areas just to get a good, a good look at it. And you'll also know right up here, this is going to change the, uh, the code. So that's just something to be aware of. Okay, and we'll go back up to the top. And I'll just select this one right here, this open street map. Um, so what I'll do is I'll copy all of this right here and come back here. Let's go and just Okay, and it looks like I didn't need to do that copy earlier, early on. Um, yeah, sometimes we just kind of learn as we go here. So here's a new path to that open street map. And we also have uh, the attribution here. And if we want, we could take out this max zoom if you want. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is add that OpenStreetMap uh, building data. So if we go back to this site here, so what we're going to do is add this statement right here. Okay, and we'll go back and we'll just paste that right there. This is the OSM building data. And I realize I need to move this guy back up. There we go. We can just 
Let's see. Base maps. So the aerial and the open street map. And now we have the data. It's pulling through this link right here. And next we want to create the leaflet layer control. Okay, and what we'll do is do variable base maps equals you know curly bracket there and we have aerial and this is what it's going to be called in the map itself so you could call this whatever you want and then this is aerial this aerial here this is what is, is, is the name right here should be the same as right here okay and the next one is OSM. And again, I need to pull the exact name right here. Open streets. Open. There it is. Okay. Now for that checkbox for the um, the building data, we're going to say variable overlay maps equals curly bracket I'm just gonna say map well we can say OSM buildings okay and same thing this has to be named OSMB as we can see right there Okay, very good. Now we come down here, we do L letter control or L control layers. Then the parentheses, we're gonna say base maps and the overlay maps. Okay. Add to map. So what this is saying is we're pulling the base maps here, the aerial and the open street map, and the overlay maps as a layer control. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So let's go and save that, and let's go and run. So here's our layer control. So again, it was defaulted to the aerial I can also switch to OSM and by default right now the buildings are checked so let's go and zoom in so you got to zoom in to to see these buildings and they're starting to render here yeah and and these are again these are pulling straight from OpenStreetMap and in their JavaScript file they're they're um, adding certain colors and textures here and there's a way to change these I haven't done it yet um, and I'll show you that in just a second but it's just a really cool idea to add extruded 3d buildings um, you know you could switch the base map of course you could turn them off if you like altogether yeah so let's go back and so here, if we go to the source code, you come over to this GitHub page. And if you scroll down, you can see here that, you know, you can kind of get into the file and you can most likely just kind of change some of the, the color variations, um, you know, just really customize it. Um, yeah, here's the height and, and the colors, the roof, and so forth. So I just want to kind of scratch the surface for you guys and, uh, you know, get you start, started on getting these 
three-dimensional buildings into your leaflet web map. Um, so yeah, guys, as always, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. If you have any um, suggestions on any future videos, I do appreciate if you leave those as well. And if you haven't yet, if you haven't yet please uh, subscribe so you don't miss um, any videos coming out. I try to publish one once a week. And I appreciate you guys watching, and um, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.